Hey guys, Fourpaws here, and today we'll be taking a look into how you decide if you should dive into the enemy backline or protect your own carries during a teamfight. This is aimed for top lane champions, so mainly bruisers, however the information I cover today should be applicable to when you play any of the roles in League of Legends. As a top laner, you'll be faced with the decision of diving the enemy team or protecting your own carries every single game. Depending on what you choose, you can easily set the outcome of the teamfight and either lose or win based on your decision. To help you make a more optimal judgement, here are some factors that I consider before and sometimes during a teamfight. First of all, identify your own champion's potential. In example, if you're playing Riven, Hecarim or Aurelia, then the odds are that you can dive into the enemy backline and solo their carries during a teamfight. Whilst if you're playing a more utility or tanky top laner, such as Lulu, Dr. Mundo or Maokai, then you might find that sitting on your own carries will be more beneficial. It's also super important to consider the capabilities of the opposing team's champions, as if they're playing a champion who will aim to kill your carries, such as Riven, you simply can't ignore that. In general terms, let's say you're playing a Maokai against a Riven. During a teamfight, if you both manage to assassinate the opposing team's AD carry, then it should be more beneficial for the Riven player, as they essentially are a carry themselves, thus their team will still have a higher damage output. Since you can assume that she'll aim to dive your carry in nearly every teamfight, you can change your playstyle to aim to peel her from your backline and let them nuke her down. Another important factor is if your carries even need you to peel them in the first place. Some carries have great self-peeling within their own kits, which sometimes can be enough to cope with incoming threats by themselves. For example, if you have an Ezreal in your team who has built blue build and you identify that the enemy Udia and Trundle want to dive him in most teamfights, then it's possible for him to self-peel via use of his Iceborne Gauntlet and Arcane Shift ability. Equally, a lot of meta mid laners have their own mobility or reliable CC, so in some situations you'll be able to leave your ally Ari to fend for herself. Again, it's very important to note that this is not always the case, as when the enemy team have hard CC such as a Lissandra ultimate, Ari might be locked down if left alone. However, this plays into the third factor, which is how fed are the carries on both teams. Using the Ari example, if it's hella late into the game and she has QSS or Zonya, maybe then she can deal with the enemy lockdown. Also on the flip side of that, if your Ari is already mega behind, is there any real point in peeling her? If you know that the enemy top laner Lissandra will just dive Ari and kill her, but Ari has been feeding off her tits all game, then maybe you should just dive and kill the enemy mid laner. In that scenario, it should be a beneficial trade for you, since Ari's damage output will be crappy since she's behind anyway. If an enemy carry mispositions and oversteps, then they're usually fair game to be locked down and killed. Even if you're playing a utility character, such as Maokai, you probably will be able to CC them for long enough so that your carries can swiftly nuke them down. So to quickly recap those four factors which should influence your choice on diving or peeling, first of all, what is your champion designed to do? Can your carries peel for themselves? Are your carries even worth protecting, or equally are the enemy carries even worth diving? And did the enemy carry misposition? Now I hope you know that there's a lot of ifs and example scenarios in this video, and that's because in every game you play a lot of contextual factors will affect the optimal decision. There is hardly ever going to be a definitive choice that you can form in champion select, and then for the whole game be like, I'm gonna dive because I'm playing Riven lol. So try to keep these fluid factors in mind and constantly update your approach to each team fight depending on how it's going. As always, if you enjoy my content, please feel free to leave a like down below and consider hitting that subscribe button. Leave your thoughts down in the comments section, and thanks for watching guys, I'll see you next time.